we are having one of the best monsoon seasons that we've ever had, but we can't capture any of the water because of the fire. It is disheartening to our, our families and our children to not know that they may not have water in a month from now. Due to unprecedented 1,200 year drought, combination of high winds, extreme dryness, and a winter where there was not very much snow, uh, big piles of wood that had been burned to try to clear the debris from the clearing project um, actually reignited into a fire uh, and became a fire that really spread a long ways and was uh, catastrophic. This restoration work in Guyana's Canyon is top priority because it's the drinking water for Las Vegas, New Mexico. We are looking at um, only about a few weeks of, of water supply left. We've imposed the higher stages of conservation within the city. Are they going to shut our doors now? Or are they going to make us just do to-go orders? It really worries me, you know, because like I have, you know, a lot of employees that I got to think about is like what if they really start the restrictions and pulling more restrictions on us. I mean, you know, like, what am I going to do? You know, everything that we do just takes water and it really scares me on what would happen if we ran out of water. We've identified a system to pre-treat some of the contaminated water that we have in one of our lakes, which will add to the storage or add to the supply of the city of Las Vegas. It will help to put a band-aid on the situation for right now until we start getting cleaner water coming down the river and we can start filling our reservoirs up. We want to make sure that we find the monies that we need to extend the storage of, of water so that it doesn't put us in this situation in the future.